I guarantee you half of the comments are going to be from people who didn't even watch this video. The general term, biological sex, doesn't refer to one specific determinable point and serves as different functions in different parts of society. Now, in general, biological sex is pretty firm because the different types of things that make up biological sex, hormonal sex, chromosomal sex, morphological sex, all tend to fall in the same category, male or female. So that's why you have the broad, this is your biological sex, because all of these things line up into this category. However, the actual term biological self itself does not refer to one specific determinable point that you can look at definitively and say this above all things determines biological sex. Now, some would argue otherwise, and I found it interesting because a lot of the responses to my video were like, oh, you silly blue-haired girl, biological sex is completely determined by your chromosomes. That is the one above all thing that determines your biological sex. And I'm like, fine. And then someone else will say, oh, you silly blue-haired girl. Biological sex is determined by your genitals. That is the first and foremost thing that you look at when determining biological sex. And someone else will say, oh, you silly blue-haired girl. Biological sex is completely determined by whether or not you contribute a sperm or an egg to the production of a baby. And I'm like, fine, that's fine. I don't really care. You guys can be condescending and rude, um, whatever. But what I'm more interested in is seeing all three of you there were more than three, but just for the sake of conversation, all three of you having a conversation about the subject. Because you guys are all very dead set that I'm wrong, yet you guys are all having conflicting opinions over what is the determiner of biological sex. of the opinion that